Hey guys, how you doing? How you doing? Hey guys. Well, by the title of the video, you're going to see truck drivers attacked by K-9. Well, watched the news this morning and I was fired up. I mean, you know me, I, get, I, I go on rants. Uh, see, this truck driver, usually I don't name companies, but it's kind of hard to miss. It's on national news all over the place. Western Express truck driver. Uh, gets pulled over for miss, a missing mud flap. Cop lights him up. And I'm listening to the news news report, and they didn't say truck driver, nothing about truck driver. They said black man gets attacked by the by a K9 unit. Well, what happens is this driver missing a mud flap, cop lights him up, he doesn't pull over right away. Finally goes to pull over, cop pulls over with him, and he takes off again. Well, ended up being about 14 cops that pursued him. During watching this. Uh, this news broadcast, you know, I'm hearing the, the reporter say, and he, the driver gets on the left the, the left lane, the hammer lane, you know, and there's a cop pulled over on the shoulder. Then you hear the news broadcaster says, yeah, he, he uh, swerved over to the right and forced the cop, cop over the shoulder. No, the cop was already on the shoulder. Don't get me wrong, this driver had no reason, no, no excuse, should I say, to be running from the cops. Pull over, do your inspection. Missing You're missing a mud flap. You should have caught him deal. during your pre trip. Maybe you lost going going down the road. I don't know. It's not a big deal. He could have explained it. Took the ticket, whatever. Pull over. But no the, the news broadcasters basically they made it a whole big deal that it's the way they made it sound was because it was a black man. It wasn't a truck driver. It was a truck driver. Well, they finally get the guy pulled over after fourteen cops get in in pursuit. They got a K9 unit over on the other side of the, the interstate over there. And I hear the one cop tell, telling his buddy, or tell, tell the canine guys, do not, do not let the dog go. They already had the guy was out of his truck, hands up. Yeah, he has hands up. And the other officer said, do not let the dog go. Well, that canine officer let the dog go, sick him on him, and the canine attacked that dog, or attacked that, that driver. The driver. Well, they made it sound like it was all the cops. No, it wasn't all the officers. It was that one officer. It was the one handling the dog. The one that the dog handler that sick the dog on the on the truck driver should have never happened. No. Cop said himself. He said, "Did it, did I not make myself clear? Did I not, not say it loud enough?" And the other officer says, "No, you said it multiple times." The one lady officer, she's like in disbelief. She, disbelief. She like covered her face, and she's just you know. And by watching it, I was in disbelief that he he let the dog go. The guy had his hands up. He was standing there. He wasn't a threat. He had his hands in the air. But once again, the media, media makes it a, a race thing. It has nothing to do with race. None of them cops wanted that, that dog to attack that guy, except for the handler. He needs to be fired, period. But no, they make it a big national story, and they make it a big race bait to where all cops are racist, and it's black against white as usual guys it's got to stop when do we when do we tell these these media broadcasters that we've had enough stop feeding the feeding the race war not all of us are racist i feel like when when everyone decides to get together and turn the tv off and stop watching it and stop looking at all the news articles that are biased and that's all there is on 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 the media it's the news it's everywhere well what gets me is, is a lot of you guys know i run the road warriors uh facebook group and even my moderators we have a chat on there and my moderators were going hey we got this post on here and it's from a whites only truck driver group and they were appalled that it was a whites only truck driver group and i said and you have the right and you should be appalled that it's a whites only truck 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 driver group but there's also blacks only truck drivers group I tell you what, me as a new driver, I want my advice from a truck driver. I don't care if they're black or white. If I'm drowning, I don't care what color that hand is that reaches out to reaches out to help me out of the water. I could care less. If I'm in a foxhole getting fired and getting fired upon, that guy next to me, I don't care what color he is. We're all human. Stop with the race baby. Just my rant. I mean, I'm not going to apologize for it. Love you guys. I think I said enough. Love you guys. Bye.